Today on the Bass Channel, we're listening to and talking about the Frank Bello Signature PJ Pickup Set from EMG. So I actually bought these pickups for Josh last Christmas so that he could put them in his LTD Surveyor 87 bass, which by the way is the bass that we're using to demonstrate these pickups in this particular video. Before I got them and before I helped him install them, I didn't really know that much about it. I never really heard them before. I knew what they were on paper. And obviously I know who Frank Bello and Anthrax is. Anthrax is awesome. But I didn't really have any experience with them. And I've gone on record multiple times saying that I love not only EMG in general, but the standard EMG, P, J, D, C, what have you. The ceramic magnet, standard amount of headroom pickups that you see in Spectre bases. You usually see the, the dual coil soap bars in Schecter bases. They're just kind of the stock standard, the ones that you have likely heard if you've played EMG. Well, these pickups are a completely different story. There's a couple things about them that are proprietary to Frank Bello, and there's a couple things that are not. Uh, in terms of being proprietary, it's predominantly an aesthetic thing. You can either get them in a black casing with red lettering or a red casing with, I believe it's black lettering. Obviously, as you've seen, we've opted for the black casing with the red lettering because in my opinion and in Josh's opinion, it just looks way more cool. But in terms of their sound, their construction, and their makeup, there is nothing necessarily proprietary about these pickups to Frank Bello. Uh, this set is a PJ set comprised of the PCSX and the LJAX, which that onslaught of initials, uh, the P pickup is, P stands for precision, CS stands for ceramic steel, and the X means that it is the X series preamp, which EMG hasn't officially said, but is kind of designed to sort of kind of mimic the higher headroom that you get by running your standard pickups at 18 volts. So they've redesigned the preamp to have higher headroom. And then of course the LJAX is the long jazz bass Alnico X preamp. So those two pickups you can buy separately. You can't get them with the red lettering unless you buy the Frank Bello set. But again, if, if you have those or if you want to try to pair it up with different things, you can do that. You can buy the PCSX and the JCSX together as a set. Uh, it, you know, you can mix and match almost everything on their website, but these are just sold as a set. And the reason they're sold as a set is, of course, that is what Frank uses live when he plays with Anthrax. Back to my point about me liking the standard headroom ceramic pickups that EMG offers, whether they be P, J, Bucker, whatever. Um, I, I do like those pickups a lot. They're in my Spectre, they're in a couple other instruments that I have, and I don't really have any issues with them. However, after hearing not only this set, but a couple other various pickups that use the CS magnet configuration, the ceramic steel, I'm starting to like the standard ceramic ones less in favor of the CS. It's, it's just got more of a punch to it, and I think it, this might be half and half both the ceramic steel and the X preamp, but I'm sure it's gonna shine through in the recording a little bit, but this is a, this is a type of sound that is better felt than heard. When you're playing it into your amp and you're standing in front of the amp, the PCSX pickup has this punch that is, at least in my opinion, in the EMG camp of pickups, unrivaled. It's so good. It is so good. We did, the last time you heard these pickups on our channel was when Josh did the Queens of the Stone Age cover using these pickups and this bass 
into the dark glass Alpha Omega Photon and recorded direct, and the isolated bass from that recording sounds like this. That was really the first time that I had heard these two pickups together and I was absolutely blown away to where I kind of briefly considered replacing all of my PJ active basses with these pickups because again I think so far of the PJ sets that I've heard from EMG whether they're sold as a set or you've kind of mismatched for lack of a better word uh, these these so far are my favorite so like I said the P pickup has this punch to it uh, it's still got clarity but not the excessive top end like the regular standard ceramic has the the standard ceramic if you know how to tame it in post you know once you've recorded it's not a big deal if you're just dealing with an amp that has your standard kind of three or four band eq it's a little bit more tricky to kind of wrangle in to get it to sound familiar uh, whereas this pickup the pcsx God, that's an onslaught of initials this pickup out of the box gives you all of those benefits of active pickups that I talked about in my ever controversial active pickups are better than passive pickups video, but with a tone that is, again, more familiar. Uh, it sounds a little bit closer to the same punch of a really killer passive pickup that you've kind of come to know and love over the last century or so. Um, so again, just out of the box, it doesn't require too much tweaking of your amp to get it to sound in the ballpark of what you're used to. LJAX, again, long jazz Alnico X preamp. Alnico pickup is probably the most popular magnet amongst pickup makers. So yet again, it's got another familiar sound. The X preamp kind of helps give some more punch back to it too. It's definitely an articulate pickup. I would say that it is a little bit less thin sounding than the stock standard J that you would find in either a PJ or a jazz set uh, in inspectors off the floor. You know, they're just using the, the J set uh, where this is the LJ AX. So it's got, it's a little bit warmer. It's a little bit thicker. Um, I don't know if I would say that it's worlds different, but it's different enough to warrant trying it. If, if you have the J set and, or at least the, the LJ and the bridge and you're unhappy with it for whatever reason, I would say that this pickup definitely warrants. Try that first and, and see what you think. Now, another interesting thing that I learned about putting these pickups into this base, uh, which another cool thing EMG gives you everything you need, you know, the only thing you really need is, is a battery and a tool, right? But all the pots, all the wires, that's all taken care of, no issues there. This set comes with, hold on, I forget what it's called. Ah, it's called the VLPF. So it's basically a 25K active tone pot, and I haven't done enough research, so at the moment I don't really know what the difference is between this tone pot and a passive tone pot. Anytime I've installed active pickups in my bases, it comes with a passive tone pot. And this active tone pot, it works the same way as the passive. You know, obviously a three band EQ or something, that's a whole different thing. This one, it's, when it's all the way up, it's wide open, and then all it does is roll the treble off like any tone pot you've come to experience on almost any bass. Um, 
So I don't understand exactly what that is. Maybe EMG or someone who knows more than I do can jump into the comments below and let me know why they're using this 25K Active Tone Pot VLPF. But one thing to look out for uh, when you're installing it, the instructions, to be fair, the instructions explicitly say to do this. I just missed it because I thought I was a know-it-all and I was proven wrong. But one of the connectors, uh, you know, all of the connectors, when you, when you plug them into the pots, you know, you have the arrows facing up. But there's one particular connector on this VLPF 25K active tone pot, that's a lot of words, uh, that specifically needs to be upside down. Um, again, the manual does tell you this explicitly. And as long as you don't get too ahead of yourself and think that you know everything, you'll probably catch it. But just in case you're like me, just be aware of that. Because if you put it in upside down or right side up, or you know the, the incorrect way, uh, it will produce zero sound. And you will sit there for about 10 minutes going, oh no, did I break something? And then you read the manual again, and then you go, oh no, turn it, plug it back in. And it works as intended, and it sounds awesome. <laughs> So I think that's just about all I have to say on the Frank Bello signature PJ pickup set from EMG. I'm not kidding when I tell you that so far this is my favorite PJ set from EMG that I have ever heard. Uh, I have two bases at the moment that could that I'm considering putting these pickups in. It's either going to be everyone's favorite Jackenbacher because that's a rad base, but I do want to put some type of EMGs, and I think I might go this route with them. Or it'll be the Spectre NS Pulse, um, again, because that's got the standard ceramic, regular headroom PJ set that I think not only would benefit from the tone of these pickups, but also that base is black and red. The color scheme would be absolutely perfect. So one of those, if not both, um, it'd be silly to do both because I, I do want to experiment with some other ones as well, maybe an Alnico set or a fully CS set. I don't know, this one's CS and Alnico, so it's kind of best of both worlds put together. But I'm definitely going to be buying a set of these for myself somewhere down the road as soon as I figure out which instrument I want to put them in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, huge thanks to Josh for providing all the playing examples because nobody plays it quite like he does. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Do the rest of the applicable YouTube stuff to help this video get seen by more and more people so I can hopefully retire one day. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't think anybody in the base demo YouTube world is ever gonna retire off of this, so let's make some smart investments while we can, huh? But in the meantime, be safe or don't. I'm not here to tell you what to do, I'm just here to show you some cool base gear, and I will see you whenever it is that I see you.